Dark metal case on here. You are light Okay guys, we're going to leave you in the sack for half an hour. We're going to set up and do it so you can show this in the first box. What's this? This is Chroma Prime. So you use it before you start shooting? No. This is uh, an insignia that uh, it has to do with telling time. Boots are being filmed. <laughs> 350 dollars. <laughs> right, in that case. <laughs> in that case. <laughs> well, two we, attack. We looked down and thought one of you guys would been jumping in the pool before you came up. <laughs> we made for the wet look. No. Nah. What we not that? That's going on. Even the fish are giving up today. So Gary, let me start with you. I came to the shoot Come on, Michael, Huh? We started, David. <laughs> Thank you. We're in the middle of an interview. Right in the middle. Actually, the beginning. Uh, from what I saw, and I saw the videotape when you came to our studio, and I saw you performing today, you were doing the no reply. You seem so comfortable on camera. Almost as if you're happy that music has come to visualization. You feel like <laughs> I used to do a lot of acting, I still do in England. Do a lot of acting films and TV series. Yeah, so uh, I, I'm quite comfortable in front of a camera. What films have you done? Quadrophenia, um, Breaking Glass, Bloody Kids, Music Machine. Quite a lot. I'm going back to do one next week actually. Is there any, uh, how about you, Casino? Are you doing acting? Is this sort of new to you? Do you feel comfortable with the camera? Yeah, I feel comfortable, yeah, but, Because uh, we look so good, you see. <laughs> <laughs> you do? Yeah. yeah. Different than doing somebody else's film as opposed to your own music? Or songs well, that's, know? that's why it's easier, isn't it? Because it's our music as well. I wouldn't know. No, you wouldn't, would you? You <laughs> can't make a comparison. <laughs> Casino, uh, what, where'd you pick up all your twos there, your tattoos? Are those European in origin? Or? Nah. Well, I worked on an oil rig for a few months, you know, in, outside Norway. And uh, I, when I lived in London, I used to live with all the, uh, at the Norwegian Siemens Hotel. <laughs> so I lived there for five years. Siemens. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, you know, all my friends were seamen, working on the boats and all. So, is that, that. that what they do in their past time? Or their time uh, uh, when you're drunk, <laughs> 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 which is, uh, well, I don't know, which is all the time. So it's not of a love of art then that you tattoo? Oh yeah, not, you know, it's love of art. This is art. Show us a couple. In memory, this is John Wayne. It's art. That's art. Americana to the max. <laughs> yeah, we want to become Americans. <laughs> Is this true? We love it. Oh, yeah. Right. We want to give up with Europe and everywhere like that. Norway. I mean, it stinks, Norway. It's about 10 below at the moment. You know, centigrade. 10 bloody below. And you're about to tour Europe now, and then the plans are to come across to the States? Yeah. Yeah. And live here. What, uh. Move in. So beware. <laughs> it's a warning. <laughs> what, what's, what's the toughest thing about what you do? What's, what's the toughest thing you guys have to do right now? I know that you, you've been working for a long time, and we'll get to that in a minute, but at this point, what, what do you see as your toughest obstacle to breaking worldwide as you hope to do? I don't really know, because we've been lucky in a way. What we did, we spent two years talking and 
you know, working in the studio and that, and nothing live really came out of it. And then we just, when we released everything, they went haywire, didn't they? They just went stupid, and we didn't expect it. You know what I mean? So it's been, it's been kind of all right at the moment. I don't it's a lot of luck involved. Yeah, it? there was a lot of luck involved. You know, the timing. It just all of a sudden everybody went berserk. We were talking in the van casino. We're out driving there under Laura's desires. That uh, <laughs> how did, what, did you see that sign and the, the marketing decided that'd be a good, a good place to shoot. Yeah, uh, but apparently everybody shot there. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, no, we talked in Van about the, the, that you had been on the road 12 years, uh, not as, as a group, you two together, but working hard. Yeah. And suddenly the release of a videotape, which video was it? And then It's one called Ruby. You know, the Kenny Rogers song? Well, we've Three minutes song. Yeah, we've which, destroyed which it. Which you turned into a, a political statement. We didn't mean to. But it just happened. Right? Yeah, it was just, I mean, I suppose you... When you're getting scripts together and things like that, you know, I mean, it's pretty similar when we're doing our words. We think, what's topical at the moment? And we couldn't really sing about the Asian war because it's practically all over and done with. So we uh, just said, oh, well, we're Irish war, that's, that's the war around the corner. So well, that one will do. And it got banned in England. And uh, we dressed up as IRAs. No. No, we're no, no British soldiers. British soldiers, that's it. So yeah, that shows you how much we know about it. <laughs> and everybody went, you know, it's too political. And that week Bobby Sands died as well, so it was a little bit... That was when all the hunger strikers started kicking the bucket, so... So that's where the luck came in? I suppose so, I don't know. In a, in a, in a sort of poignant way. I we mean, didn't mean it that way, it just happened, you know. We just thought, how can we modernise this song? But record after record, tour after tour, and then a videotape, and boom. Mm. Yeah. Acknowledgement, success... That's the future's in video. Sure. I mean, that's why we're over here, we're making a video. And, um... Yeah. Say that <laughs> yeah, there's an yeah. ashtray right over there. Yeah. We should not have to group. We should put it on the ashtray. Right up in the, between the two. Side forward. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'll, I'll repeat the question. Uh -huh. I said it was that uh, tour after tour, album after album, recording, and suddenly the release of, of uh, Ruby on videotape, and people were able to visually see. That's right. Well, they saw the show before we'd even created it. By the video. We put on a show on video, and three minutes went out in Scandinavia and bam, you know, I and mean, the future's right in video now. It really is. Why do you think that is? Do you have any opinions or feelings about why it's going Because you can way? you can have a whole show, right? In your front room. And you get a view you, you, your viewing's great, isn't it? I mean you can see everything and you can stop it and start it again. Things like that. Yeah, you can do a fourteen days tour and you can play for ten thousand people or you can do three minutes on telly and you've got millions play for of people. Two or three million people at once. There's a slight difference. And when, and when they're all buying the records, it's great. Do you, uh, have you paid attention to the developments in, in, in video technology? Do you, either of you two? No, not the actual equipment, you know, nothing like that, but the techniques used in filming. We've, we've used quite a lot, haven't we? I mean, on the last one, we used quite a few effects. Um, and we spent days doing it. We had a big crew on the last one, a huge crew, you know. So, uh, I know that you two, uh, how long has the Tequila Band, in effect, been together now? I know that you come from different, you did some gigs with the Ramones in Europe, you were with the Heavy Metal Kids. Mm -hmm. How did Casino Steel and Gary Holton come together as a unit? Oh, well, we used to drink in the same pub. <laughs> That's all, really. We used to get drunk and talk about and it. And also we had, we had personal problems, both of us. Yeah. <laughs> we were both drunk and Bad women drunk. had left us. <laughs> So we had, we We're had crying on each other, each other, oh, shoulders. His teeth started to fall out <laughs> and that. He got scurvy. <laughs> he got scurvy. I got hepatitis, pickled me liver. Spent six weeks in hospital and all that. We were really down and out. <laughs> <laughs> so we had something in common. Does that have anything to do with your uh, occupation on the rig there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we just decided we've had enough, you know, so we just split. Tell me about your... This rig rock, I know I, I want to get to the labeling and all that in just a minute, but you actually lived on an oil rig in the North Sea, and what was that like as, you know, as compared to what you're doing now? Well, um, I've always been interested in country music, right? And um, in America, it's all trucking music at the moment in country, or it was at that time anyway. And um, in Norway, trucking is not big as it is here, you know, but oil rigs are, you know. And, 
all our friends work in oil rigs and uh, they are the cowboys today, you know, in Norway eyes. The North Sea is a new frontier. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, we might as well sing about the riggers instead of the truckers, you know. So, I was rig rocking. And also, they, it's the same, they've got the same thing in common as yeah. us because they have to leave their women behind, you know. And uh, when we go out on the road, we have to leave them behind. And they're good drinkers. And they drink, yeah. <laughs> And uh, how's the pay? <laughs> Good. Fourteen days on. No, it's twenty-one on, isn't it? No, Sixteen off. days on. Fourteen. Mm -hmm. on. What's your day consist of? What do you do on the road? Really? In general, on the Americans don't. Pumping for the oil company. <laughs> <laughs> black gold. And when you're off, you pump for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> black gold, Texas Creed. So with all the labeling going on in, in music, rock and roll, you, you, you have a, you know, you, your interest is country, your interest is rock and roll, the album is sort of, uh, you know, can go, in, in some cuts that I've heard anyway, could go either way. Um, That's the idea, we don't really, the reason we labeled it Rig Rock was because someone's bound to put a label on it, you see, and we thought we'd better do it first, and everybody says, what's Rig Rock? Uh, <laughs> so it's quite good, really. It doesn't mean anything. You know, it doesn't really mean anything. It's just we thought we put it's a label. Just the lyrics, on it. really. Isn't it? Yeah, the lyrics are all about that. You know, instead of a cowboy riding to the west, it's a guy going out on the North Sea. You know, it's that sort of thing. Are you? Uh, do you both write, or is this lyrically harmony, you know, lyrical melody combination between the two of you? Who does the majority of the writing? You both. He does the majority of the songs, and I do the lyrics. And you know, we we just well, anything goes, doesn't it? Yeah. Song comes in the studio and. We just go, oh, that's a good idea. Let's use those lyrics. How did you become Norway's biggest group? And, and, and the, the, is, is it, was that as a result of the From video? From the video. Ruby? Yeah, the video went out. We were walking the streets. We didn't have any money, did we, really? And it was freezing. Yeah. Told the management we wanted to put the band on the road, you know, a do or die, you know. So we got 10 of the best musicians in the world together, and uh, two drummers and all that. And managed, we had to beg the zigzag the show was called zigzag we had to beg them to put it on you know to get three minutes anyway they did and that coincided with the tour and by the, the end of the tour that was it we couldn't walk down the streets people knew who you were still do yeah little kids from old people you know it's really strange what's that feel like it's quite nice at first but it's a bit boring when you can't drink in your local pub you know i can't go on a bus anymore that's great <laughs> What's, uh, what's the plan now? You're going back to, to Europe, I understand, Sunday, and, and people in this country don't understand, uh, you know, they don't, they don't know the Tequila Band. How, how long do you think it'll take for them to, to change around? You're going to tour Europe, and then the plan is to come... The plan back. is to come over here, yeah, as soon as we can. We've got, to, we've got to think economically as well, though, you know, because to come over here, we don't want to come over just for a few weeks. We want to come over and tour intensively, you know. Well, how do you address that, that problem of, of touring with a band with like the Tequila Band as a 10-piece plus you two? Very well, difficult. What are you going to do? I mean, it's difficult, but, but we, we managed it before. It's, it is difficult. It's really difficult because the equipment is phenomenal, you know, the amount of equipment. And also in Scandinavia, this week we're number one in the chart, so that takes up months of concentration, you know, like you have to concentrate on that market while you're on top, you know before you can concentrate on all the territories. Which is very, very difficult because our record is out in so many countries. <laughs> Why do you have such a big band? What do you have? <coughs> so yeah. we could get the same sound yeah. live as we got on we record. We got banjo, steel guitar, three guitars, two drums, two organ, keyboards. keyboards. Me. <laughs> yeah, what's his name? So it's a full sound. Yeah. It's not that yeah. loud. It's not it's over, very full, over yeah. loud, but it is very full, yeah. And it sounds almost identical to the album. The only thing is missing are the strings. Yeah. The, the Where do your hearts lie more, in country or rock and roll? Or, or have you about Mine's in country and this is rock and roll. So if it go either way, I mean, the blend of the two, you could, you could get some, uh, some crossover interest. That mm. Yeah, because we've got an excellent producer, you see. When I make demos, I make them straight country. And uh, mine are all straight rock and roll. Yeah, his are all straight rock and roll, and the producers in between, and he's excellent. He takes so uh, it works out in the halfway for both, you know, and that's the balance. That's the thing that works. We're recording an album right at this minute. Yeah. This very minute. 
with the songs that you've got. Yeah. The producer's doing like it. Like they're with in the, the studio at the moment. He doesn't like us in the studio, but he's putting the backing tracks down. These video <laughs> productions that you're doing, uh, where are they aired in Norway? Is there, is there a television station, government control? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's lousy. So how do they show videos? Well, they've got, there's a, a rock program every two weeks, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> the rock program every two weeks, can you imagine? And um, What's good about it is that everyone watches it. Yeah, so uh, everybody stay in that night that it's on. And then if you can get three minutes on there, you've, you've practically made it. <laughs> <laughs> they actually come on and do guest appearances and do, uh, you know, interviews and things like that. We won't do any live stuff for the TV programs because the reproduction on sound is so lousy. Mm -hmm. Are you aware of what's taking place in this country? You were telling you earlier about the stereo sound. Yeah, yeah. yeah. amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. So it's going to be interesting. That's, that's what's going to break bands like yourself wide open. Mm -hmm. the stereo capabilities mm -hmm. for the video. I think it's really incredible. You know. I saw it for the first time this morning. It's, just, it's great. There's nothing like it anywhere else. Do you think the, the interest, is, is rock and roll the most popular form of music, would you say, in Europe? Is that yeah. yeah, it always has been. Really. I mean, it, new modes come in and out, you know. But um, you find that when, you, when you reach our age, <laughs> you kind of settle down a little bit. <laughs> at the moment in England, it's all synthesizers. Mm -hmm. I hate all that. Do you feel more prepared now that you've been working so hard for 12 years? It's not like you guys have overnight success. You, you, you seem to... Uh, in my first impression of meeting you the other day and now talking to you that you're you're at ease with what's about to happen. Yeah, yeah. It's a better time. Because we won't do as many mistakes as we would have done. Because, I mean, That's both right. of us have done mistakes. Oh. Big, big mistakes all the time, you know. But now we've sort of learned. Mm. You we like won't American do. girls, guys? American girls? Nah, I like English girls. <laughs> American girls are too loud. No kidding. They've all got big asses as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say that, my old lady's looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, before we close, Johnny, have anything Yeah, I want to talk about why you chose Miami as a location to do videos. It's nice weather, isn't it? I mean, it's freezing in Norway. <clears throat> Yeah, but it's funny that you think of Florida, the last thing I think of when I live here is Wild West scenes, and you came here to do, you know, buy your snakeskin boots and... What is in those, um, where was it? Where were we? Silver Springs. Six Gun Territory. Six Gun Territory, Silver Springs, and there's this, like, western town there. So we did most of it. Now, because everyone's broke. Uh, yeah, let's go back over there. That was at the end of the tape. Um, why, why Florida, other than just the, the temperature was the only thing? Or was I was, we were told, to tell you the truth, we were told you're going to Florida. I was all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, we mean, thought we were going to the Canaries. Right? That's right. We thought we were going to go to the Canary Islands at first. We were chasing the sun, that's for sure. Um, Nobody else from the band is with you? Why are you just doing that? No, they're, they're not in the band as such, because we just hire the band every time. But we have got regular musicians that we want to use mm. most of the time. Because they're really good. So drummers really are good. brilliant, you know. One of the drummers is a university teacher or something. Yeah. Yeah. And the steel guitarist is superb. You know. It's about 45, the steel guitarist. Yeah. <laughs> If you had one thing to say to the American music lovers before you even come across the, the, the sea and, and, and attack this country, what would it be? Because they're going to see you before you come, and I want you to say something to the viewing audience. Anything you'd like at this point, each of you, to <sighs> grow up. Yeah. Fuck punk rock. <laughs> <laughs> That's for That's Joey right. Ramone and those guys as well. <laughs> punk rock made pretty women look pretty ugly. Yeah. We want women to be women and men to be men. Yes. What about this new romantic? Uh, oh, fuck. Shit. <laughs> I mean, it's a bit queer. Isn't it? Yeah, it's a bunch of fags. Just a bunch of fags trying to play, and they can't even do that. Extension of disco and just electronic. Mm, yeah. Um, one more thing. When you were putting your. I noticed you, you had like a one page storyboard for this video. You more or less improvise it as you go along. Yeah, you yeah. Have some producer hanging over you saying you must do this. And yeah, because we've got our image, you know, and we, no way are we going to change that now, you know.
because we've been going for so long that we can't get have a producer to tell us to do things that are natural, to, you know. So you're but it more, more or less sets up the story, the basic story, but our image, you know, that's ours and we'll keep that whatever anyone else says. Will you be in the room during the editing process saying use this shot or don't use that? Or? No, oh, I don't know. I don't think we'll have that time anyway. And no, no, I knew that. I mean, uh, the people that we've been, you know, people we use. You see, the video, we're doing two videos. I sh uh, the one that just concerns us. You see, we're doing a video to be on sale, right, in Scandinavia and Europe. And uh, that one we won't have much control over because it's like a family entertainment thing with all the top bands in Europe, well, Scandinavia. And, uh, but the, the ones we're doing on our own, we'll have a lot more say. And if we don't like it, then I'll you know, chop and change. So you'll actually say, well, you know, we did this and we like mm. this. Like, for example, when you're over in front of the uh, marquee, you might want a shot that has the desire in mm. the background mm. instead of a close-up mm. or something. Like that. Yeah, I know a little bit about that, but not enough, you know. Yeah, but we trust our producers yeah. as well, you know. Who, who is producing the video? That, <laughs> the guy behind you. Oh, I'm not sure what his full name is. <laughs> <laughs> but we trust him. <laughs> he looks all right, so I mean... <laughs> He smiles. <laughs> 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 By the way, you also didn't name your record producer, whom you were. Bjorn Spectre Nasher. We call him Spectre because he shoves everything on. Yeah. I mean, he uses like 40, 50. He's putting on 200 voices. The wall of sound, yeah, Spectre. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, he pisses on Phil Spectre now. Phil Spectre shit himself if he, he would. Mm. Well, he did. He would. He lose his bottle. We're pretty confident, as you gather. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Good luck. Yeah. Right. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Okay. Good. Okay. We're gonna do these today. <laughs> Goddamn mess. <laughs> well, a real man. Yeah. Well, we were talking. I, I said, Gary, that you know, you, you seem so uh, so comfortable. On, on camera is, is is this something that you've done you've done movies I understand what what were those movies that you've performed in <laughs> I got to do that one again <laughs> what did you write <laughs> right okay can we are we here in this music we didn't ever shut that off no, did we it's okay go ahead okay well, you both seem so comfortable on camera doing these videotapes. God, I can't see. These guys are cutting out in there. I don't know how to pull this off. Do they have to be here when I do this? We've got some fish in there, All right? Really? No, I'll, I'll, <laughs> Robson's even worse. <laughs> see, this is the worst part about this. No, we, we were watching you do some videotaping, and we noticed you guys have seemed real comfortable on camera. You, you, you've been doing this before. Boom. Next question. Okay. <laughs> uh, Casino and I were talking earlier, and after 12 years on the road, random records, random tours, suddenly a videotape is released called Ruby in Europe, and all hell breaks loose. How do you address that? Next. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the piss, isn't it? It's like... It's like Okay, with all the labeling in rock and roll, uh, what, with punk rock, new romantics, uh, country, jazz, rig rock, what is it, how do you live with a label like that when people in the States don't really know what rig rock's all about? Will that work? Do it shorter. Shorter? Okay. <laughs> uh, man, it's 110. Yeah. Do you have a napkin or something? Oh, uh, never mind. What is rig... Oh, oh wait. Okay. Cool. Rig rock. What does it mean to Americans? What is rig rock? Okay. What's the other one? Okay. Shit, I'm sweating here. Are you guys as hot as I am? Mm -hmm. 
is is it is the timing now that 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 you're you've both been working so hard for 12 years and now that uh, you seem to be more comfortable with your impending success do you do you think it's that it now is the proper time for you, you gotta ask, that again. ask that again okay you both been working 12 years on the road in different bands different projects do you feel that you're now more comfortable with the impending success <laughs> okay. Okay, um, God. Get yeah, your hot. nose, your whole face. Here. Yeah, I need a napkin. Hold on. Just. So you've picked uh, a place to come from Europe before you start European tour. Why Florida out of all the places in the United States? Okay, John.